All right, guys, now we're going to look at dictionaries, which are collections that are unordered, changeable and indexed with no duplicate members. And these are very similar to um, JavaScript object literals and Ruby hashes and uh, even JSON. So if you're going to work with JSON and Python, a lot of times you'll you'll decode it into a dictionary. And I, I'll show you an example of that later on. So let's start off by just creating a simple dictionary and we'll call it person. And we use our curly braces here. Okay. now the key is going to have quotes around it. That's kind of a, a big difference between um, dictionaries and, and object literals in JavaScript is we have these quotes around the keys. So let's say first name. And we'll say first name is a string of John. Okay. then we'll do. Last name is a string of Doe and let's say age. is an int of let's say 30. Okay, so if I go ahead and print out this person, let's see what happens. So I'm going to say python3 dictionaries.py. Uh invalid syntax. That's because I put a freaking equal sign. Oops. All right, let's try it again. There we go. So it prints it out for us. Um, you can also use a, a, a constructor just like with the other data structures. So uh, what I'll do is copy this and I'll say person equals and we want to use dict. Like that. Except we wouldn't do. Uh, it's actually formatted very differently. We would do first name. equals in the string. Probably would have been better off just um, typing this in and then last name equals Doe. And age equals 30. And we actually wouldn't want these curly braces. We would want uh, actually. Yeah, that should do it. Take away that one as well. Okay, so let's let's actually comment this out. Make sure we get the same thing. Run that and there we go. So that's another way of doing it. But I'm going to comment this one out. All right, so if we want to access a single value. Then we can print. Person. And in, in JavaScript, what we would do is say person dot first name, right? We would use a dot. In this case, though, we want to use uh, brackets, okay? which you can also do in JavaScript. Actually, I, ne I just never do. Um, I, use, use, I always use the dot syntax. But in Python, we want to use the brackets and then the, whatever the key is. So I'll run that and you can see we get John. Okay, uh, let's see if we want. Actually, there's another way we can access them as well, and that's by using the get method. So if we want to do print person dot get and then parentheses and then the key. So let's get last name. Okay, if we run that, you'll see that we get dough. So you can use either way um, if you want to add something to it. Like, let's say we want to add a phone number. say add key value uh, we'll say person phone all right so now let's save it and let's print out person and now you can see that phone has been added okay um, so they are changeable if you want to get just the keys we'll say get keys then we can print person dot keys and I just want to show you if you want to get the values we can print person dot items okay so let's save that and let's run it and what I want you to look at is this right here so dict keys Okay, this is actually a view object and it gives you all the different keys, first name, last name, age and phone, and then all the items, 
which is going to give you a set of um, uh, these parentheses with first name John, last name Joe. You know, I guess these aren't really just it's not just getting the values; it's getting uh, a view object with the items. Now, if we wanted to make a copy, we could do that. So let's say make copy. So I'll say person two and set it to person dot copy. And then I'm going to take person two. And I'm going to add a city. So I'll say city. Oops, no semicolon. See, it's, that's the JavaScript in me and the PHP and whatever other languages use semicolons. And then let's print out person two. All right, so we'll clear that and run it. And let's see, person two is going to be this one right here that I added Boston to. And obviously, if I wanted to change some of the values, I could do that as well. So what about removing an item? Let's let's get rid of the printout of person two and let's say remove item. So to do that, we can use Dell. Let's say we want to remove the age. So we'll say Dell. Person. Age. Okay, let's go ahead and run it. And now down at the bottom here, you'll see that there is no age value. Okay. Um, if we will actually, there's another way to do this as well, and that's using the pop method. So if we want to do person dot pop. Let's say we want to remove the phone. So go ahead and run that. And now the last one here just has first name and last name. It doesn't have age or phone. If we want to clear the clear the dictionary completely, we can say person dot clear. Okay, so I'll run that and down at the bottom here just in, it's just empty curly braces. Uh, and again, if you want to get the length. Probably should have done this above, but that's fine. We'll say um, print len person actually let's do person two we'll print the length of person two which is five okay so uh, a lot of times you'll see a list of dictionaries so let me give you an example of that we'll say list of dictionaries so let's say people set that to a list And inside here we'll have our dictionaries. So like name. Uh, we'll say. Martha. Age 40 and then we'll put a comma here and then we'll do another one. So name actually what did I do here. This should should have quotes. age we'll say 20 all right so if we go down here and let's just print out the people list and down here you'll see we have a list with two uh, two dictionaries so again javascript people it's like having a, an array of objects and then if we want to focus on one of these like let's say we want to get the name for for Bob for this this dictionary here, I could say print people and I want the one index, which would be the second one, because remember, it's zero one. And then if I want to get a specific property, I could go. Let's say name so that should print out Bob. So if I go ahead and run that, we look at the bottom, we get Bob. All right. So hopefully this gives you a good idea of how dictionaries work again very close to some of the other data structures in other languages if you know any other languages um, but yeah so in the next video I want to I want to get into um, uh, functions okay because we haven't really talked about the indentation syntax and stuff like that so we're going to get into functions next